Okay, so let's have a go at this cheeky little question about catastrophe theory. Here we go. Now remember the golden rule. We want to try and include a, a, uh, a mark uh, from the mark scheme that I'll identify in red in the first line or first sentence of what we write. So, catastrophe theory takes into account the impact of somatic arousal. I've put response of the body in brackets just to let the reader know I understand what it means. Um, now, the difference between catastrophe theory and inverted dew and dry theory is that cognitive anxiety is also, or cognitive arousal is also included. So I'm going to continue my sentence here. And cognitive arousal, and again, stress, worry and anxiety, um, upon sporting performance. So let's read that through. Catastrophe theory takes into account the impact of somatic arousal, response of the body, and cognitive arousal, stress, worry and anxiety, upon sporting performance. As arousal increases, uh, so does performance, up to an optimum point. If arousal continues to increase, somatic and, uh, arousal or cognitive anxiety, um, there is an extreme decline in performance. It's important that you mention that extreme decline because that's what makes it different to the inverted U theory as well as um, including both somatic and cognitive um, arousal. Okay, let's get back in. High levels of somatic stress um, coincide and interact with apprehension or anxiety. As a result, body control and coordination could suffer, that's from the somatic side, uh, as could concentration and perceptual abilities. So you'd get the marks if you wrote decision making in here or the ability to make good decisions in the sporting context. Next marks coming up. If arousal continues to increase, that's even after that extreme decline, performance would continue to decline further. However, if the performer can regain composure, control emotions and somatic arousal, they could do that by breathing deeply, um, taking some time out, maybe thinking of their own stress management techniques, counting to 10, all those basic ones you've, you've heard of before, they could recover and improve performance on an upward curve again. Now, on occasions, but although it is a little bit risky, um, you can include um, a diagram, providing that you label that diagram clearly, both including the, um, the axes, but also the, the key points within the diagram um, as shown here. Don't just put a pencil diagram up in a corner and hope it will get you some marks, because it certainly won't. Um, and much better, I think, uh, in terms of risk, um, to actually write your answer out in full, um, in continuous prose, as shown here.